Hey everyone, it's Bramblestone 27 up. Uh, I said I was going to be doing a Let's Play for Ikachan for the 3DS, but I've decided I really don't like the 3DS version, so I decided to do the classic PC version. Oh, there's just an opening message. Okay, let's get started. You wake up in an underwater cave. Swim, Ikachan. So, this first part's not very hard. This whole game's not very hard, but... You, know. you get these blue fish for XP. Like that. Uh, just don't touch the spikes. You don't have much health, as you can see. I only have four health. And... You can't kill anything yet, so don't even try. But if you collect it, I don't even know if those fish do damage. But there, if you collect all those, you'll be level 2, which means you'll have 8 health. Which, great. Ikachan, where have you been? This place? I'm not sure. It seems to be ruled by a giant fish named Ironhead. Recently, earthquakes have cut them off from the rest of the sea. Iron has them all paranoid. Show your loyalty to Ironhead makes you carry a pearl. Without a pearl, you will be attacked by the locals. I don't have a pearl, so I have to hide down here. Hey, you don't have a pearl either, do you? Are you looking for one? Not really. Good answer. It's far too dangerous to swim near Ironhead. We're safe down here. These clams will let you save, like, heal and save, which I'll do every time I get to one. Probably. Again, not too hard. Just don't slow down or you'll fall on the spikes. Touch the fishbone and you'll get the spike cap. Now you can kill enemies. Some of them, anyway. There's only three enemies besides the bosses. There's only three enemies in the game. There's the pufferfish, those fish that are normal, and the crabs. The crabs will give you three XP for killing them. Puffer fish give you one, and regular fish give you none. XP can't... It's not like Cave Story. XP doesn't go down. And yeah, I forgot to mention, this game's made by the guy who made Cave Story. He made this before Cave Story for practice. Most people know what a Kachan is if they are watching this, I'd assume. I'm not going to kill every enemy, but... You want to get to level 2 as fast as possible. See what's going on. That jawfish up there, his name is Carrie. He's Ironhead's right hand man. If you want to talk to Ironhead, you have to talk to him first. Okay. Do I want to talk to Iron? Iron I just call it Iron Man. As long as the mother pearl is missing, violent earthquakes rack our waters. If you find it, bring it to me at once. You don't scare me. Okay. More XP. You can't hit sideways blocks yet. You can only hit them from above. Or from below, I guess. I should say. And you can't kill crabs until you're like 2 or 3. Level 2 or 3. You can kill pufferfish now, though. Yeah, it... The, the, the 3DS version came out yesterday. Uh... It's, it's actually, the bad part is, they added new areas to the game, which just kind of ruins it, but the p part that biggest ruins this game, oh, hello, who are you? Ikachan, that's a funny name, my name's Pinky, my dad says not to talk to strangers, but you seem very nice. He's, did you see my brother, he's in that watchman at food store, so anyway, the main problem is, this game wasn't made in America, of course but some people translated it. And this translation for the game's good. Nicalis took the took it and translated it and they made it really horrible. So I mean with Cave Story, the first time I played Cave Story was Nicalis' translation. And I have a hard time getting used to the PC translation, so I guess it's just the other way around. So what you need to do to get to the next area, it's pretty easy. You just talk to this guy, Pinky's dad. Let's just see what happens. 
Eep, don't attack me, please. I'm a citizen of Ironhead's realm. Really, this is the food store. It's like, keep watch over it. This is all the food we have left. You take me away, some glutton could break me and eat all of our food. We could starve. Okay, let's not be kidding anymore. Not really. I'm sorry, I'm so nervous. You see, I'm a bit of predicament. Would you like to hear it? Not really, but sure. During one of the earthquakes, I was thrown off this ledge and lost my pearl. Now, any old sea creature can come and bother me because I can't prove my citizens of iron and brown. Could you find my pearl for me? I would go myself. We're running out of food as it is, and it's vital I protect what we have left. Here, I hope this can help. Got the herbal serum. It looks kind of disgusting. Uh, herbal serum, si serum is kind of like the life pot in Cave Story. It just heals your health full one time. I've never actually even used it. I've played through this game twice. That's kind of important. Ironhead's code. It reads, Welcome to Ironhead's Water. Strangers cannot be trusted and thus will be attacked. Those with pearls are citizens of Ironhead's Realm and are protected from the danger that strangers face. If you have a pearl, do not attack fellow citizens. What goes around comes around, and if you're ever caught without your pearl, you might be attacked yourself. Cool. That explains why I'm being attacked right now. Yeah, and don't go in here. That's just uh, pretty obvious. You you can actually get those later, but if you try now, you'll just end up wishing you hadn't done that. So this is where I got when I start when I was playing this game a long time ago because I've had it for a long time on my computer. This is where I got stuck, but it's really easy. You just go up in here. One of the earthquakes opened up a tiny crack here. It's too small to fit through though. Well, I could fit through it if you weren't in my way. Thank you, Earthquake. That was one huge earthquake. Okay, I'm out of here. XP. Oh, good. Level 2. That is very good. Yeah, and something I've noticed is XP won't regenerate if you save and exit and come back in, but enemies will, so in theory, you could get unlimited XP if you really wanted to just keep killing crabs for 3 XP, but that's pretty dumb, and I wouldn't do it. I can get to about level 5 without, or level 4 or 5 by the game is, times game's over without overkilling a bunch of enemies. For some reason, when I first played through this on PC, my copy, I don't know where it is anymore, but my copy was really glitchy, this was like a week ago. Uh, the only problem was, whenever you got XP or got hit by something, or got hit by an enemy, it didn't show you getting XP or taking damage, so it made it a lot harder. Like, it wouldn't tell me, I just took two health. I mean, I could look up in my energy thing, like I did, and see that I lost that much health, but it didn't directly tell me I'd lost any health. I didn't even know enemies could give you XP. That's how bad it was. Oh, look at the sparkly, shiny starfishies. Okay. Oh, good, a save point. Oh, crap. Pufferfish are the worst. They're like, look all harmless, and then you get, like, way too close, and then you're dead. I'm not even gonna bother killing that thing. XP also will, all those blue fish will give you health. The XP fish will give you health if you need it. They'll give you one health back each in addition to XP. Yes, thank you. Okay. Ah. There you go. Okay, here, there's only two boss fights in this game. Here's number one. It's really boring. This boss fight's like easy. Being a sentry is so boring. All I do is sit here and wait to release Ironhead's attack stars on an enemy. Is it bad that there's no music? But there are no strangers here. Everyone has a pearl. Hey, wait. You don't have a pearl. Prepare to defend yourself. Oh no. Epic music. Seriously? I hate these things. Just stand still, and if you do it right, there, there. They also give you 3 XP. Attack that guy! Ha! 
He did it. No. This one's the worst. I hate this one. Oh, it was easy. You defeated Ironhead's attack stars. Wow, you must be a skilled warrior. Please don't attack me, Mr. Warrior. I was just following orders. You may pass. I'd like to kill you right now, but... Unfortunately, the game was not scripted that way. Okay, level three. Yeah, you... This is about as high as you really need to get in order to... I mean, you really don't even have to go past level zero. I mean, that's how easy this game is, but... You need to make sure to get the suka bread, that's important. It's basically why you came over here in the first place. You can't go up there. So go over here. Great suggestion, I know. If you can't go one place, go to the next place. Just fall from right here and you'll be able to get these XP. And then go ahead and leave since you can't reach those yet. I'm going to make sure to pick up all the XP in this game. I'm not going to just randomly spawn kill enemies until I get a ton of XP, though. So I'm just going to pick up all the blue fish. This is one of my... This is one of the funniest parts of the game. But it's also very... tedious and annoying, but... You gotta finish this game sometime. As long as the Mother Pearl is missing violent earthquakes, rack our waters. If you find it, bring it to me at once. You have suka bread? I love, I mean, Ironhead loves suka bread. If you give it to me, I'll give you a pearl. Carrie gave you a pearl. Wait here. I'm still, I mean, Ironhead is still hungry. Could you go to the food stores and get a shrimp cocktail for him? That's mysterious. See so yeah, the residents are supposed to attack you when you have a pearl, but the enemy still... Wait, maybe they don't attack me. HA! When you get the pearl, enemies stop attacking you! That's hilarious. Does everything do that? Yeah. Once you get the pearl, enemies will stop attacking you and you can kill them. That's hilarious. Doesn't last very long, so this is the time if you'd like to, to go kill enemies, because you get the pearl taken away, but... Ha, I didn't know they'd actually stop attacking you. That's pretty fun. Food storehouse. You say Ironhead wants a shrimp cocktail. We're running out of food, but I guess if it's for Ironhead, don't waste it. I won't. I'm not eating it. I'm not hungry. Okay. Pretty easy. Just go ahead and go down. I will bring it to Ironhead at once. Ironhead is still hungry. Now he wants crab soup. Would you get some from the store storehouse? What? Now you want crab soup too? Soup too? We have a serious food shortage now. I guess if it's for Ironhead, take it. You got the crab soup. This guy is getting irritated. This Ironhead must be one hungry fish. I don't get it. But, I better keep doing it. Hey, thanks. I will bring it to Ironhead at once. Wait here. It seems Ironhead's belly is never full. Now he wants a glow fish, pla glow fish plat platter. Get a move on. Okay, we'll get a move on after part on part two because I need to upload part one before I keep going. So please look forward and keep watching these videos because the next part's gonna have the boss fight with Ironhead and that's a pretty cool part. So uh, keep watching. Thank you. Bye.